Ramble. Today's episode is brought to you by Thrive Cosmetics. Good show. <laughs> Welcome to Guilty <laughs> Pleasures. Today we are talking about Pixar's cars. Yes, and joining sir. us in the studio, we have the number one car stand. I, can I? Can you say that? I'm is saying that. Loud? Yeah. Welcome yeah, back yeah, to yeah. the podcast, it. Mr. Shane Madey. Hey, happy to be here. Kachow, 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 kachiga, kachiga. <laughs> Dude, that's a deep cut. That's a Chick Hicks deep cut. Yeah, 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 yeah. I can't. I did. Did did it? Did we foresee this at some point when I was on for Speed Racer? Did we talk about me coming back to talk about cars? I've always known that you're a cars fanatic. Yeah. You, you, you carry all the flag. Of, all of those slack days of Shane and Ryan just going off about cars in, in Quince's face. I think that's what the best part of it was. Quinta likes cars. Of, no. No, Quinta, Ryan, no, Quinta's Quinta. on team. Uh, well, it's just Quinta and Ryan so often disagree on, on things on everything. that I assume because Ryan hates cars that Quinta would uh, sort of love it to spite him. But no. No, Usually yeah. the right call to spite Ryan. I choose most of my life choices to spite Ryan. <laughs> yeah, that's yeah. fair. It's a good it's, way to live. It's very fun to watch him be upset about things. Kelsey is not here today, though. We do have a special voice memo from her. We'll play later. Uh, Shane, yeah. welcome back. Happy yeah, to be I didn't here. realize that we were just bringing you back for like from one Cars movie to another. Yeah. It yeah. also occurs to me that we spend a lot of our time on this podcast talking about motor vehicles in cinema. Yeah. yeah. But great. Here we are. Yeah. It did occur to me on the way over here as I was blasting the flats. Uh, <laughs> I was like, oh, we, started, we, we did Speed Racer here. Uh, and I was, by the way, I was, well, let's just some quick Speed Racer news. Oh. Uh, you know, by the time this comes out, I don't know if it'll still be up for auction. But Zach uh -huh. and I did very briefly discuss right now the Wachowskis are doing a charity auction and they are auctioning the Royalton Industries segue from Speed Racer. You can own a purple Royalton Industries Speed Racer segue. Oh, a fucking actual like an segue. Actual the real segue. Deal. Yeah. And not like that bitch ass influencer 2018 no. shit that's just for your feet. I'm talking handles, touring around Europe. Gold and purple. Spike Lee. The one shot that Chim Chim segue. and Spritel. Yeah. Right. Yeah. You remember them? Yeah, I remember them. You remember them? I can't forget. How much do you think a Segway costs? $200,000. <laughs> Try for the cool price of 1500 bucks. What? <laughs> well, that's the, that's the opening bid. So that's the opening oh, bid. Okay. That's the floor. And but you I don't know think that's anyone's gonna, bid yet. Though Sarah and I were looking at the description on the auction website, and it did say you have to transport it yourself, so which I assume cost, means yeah. you fly out to wherever it is yeah. and just take a nice road trip on that little purple well, segment. where do they film? Life is a highway, am I yeah. right? Yeah, where do they film? Right. Make sure to take Route 66 there. Yeah. Uh, what? Where do you think they filmed it? They probably filmed it in, like, Vancouver Well, or it's right now in the Wachowskis... State. The state. So I feel like it's got to be here. I guess yeah. I was assuming like London. I guess they, where did they, or the Wachowskis film in Australia sometimes, right? <laughs> I am not transporting a fucking Segway yeah. no, <laughs> overseas. Be, yeah. A big yeah. crate. Absolutely not. I also, what's stopping me is I don't know where I would put it. Uh, I guess some sort of pedestal. Yeah. <laughs> but it's, a, it's a big thing. I mean, there's also, they were, they were auctioning off Channing Tatum's dog ears <laughs> from <laughs> Jupiter ascending. Oh, and boo. when I got there, I, the bid was at 225 and I signed up because I'm like, yeah, that's money well spent. Sure. Yeah. And by the time I got there, it had already gone up to yeah. 300. So I'm like, ah, I'm priced out. Yeah. For dog ears? Well, if you don't recall Jup in Jupiter no, ascending, no, seen Channing movie. Tatum is a uh, half human, half wolf. <laughs> Yeah. So he has dog. Anyway, we're here to talk about cars. <laughs> cars. Yeah. Good job, good job. Shane, I think the people listening. Okay, let's just get this out of the way because cars is kind of for a long time was the redheaded stepchild of the Pixar world. I don't understand how it, or why. It, is, it, was, yeah. it is. I the, think it still is. Yeah. yeah, it's considered the lesser movie. Yeah. It's made fun of. And so you see that criticism and you say nay. I say nay. You know, I'm not one to truck in hot takes, <laughs> yeah. uh, and I'm not here to stir the pot. One thing that has got me a lot of flack over the years... Revving the people's engines, so to speak. <laughs> ...is that uh, I do legitimately think that Cars is a better movie than Up. <laughs> like, and, I, and I'm not... And people are like, you're just saying that to, to you know, get I, people I, angry. I think that Up 
is good in the first like the first act is like what people really scream about. People they're remember just, the people first aren't 10 talking minutes. about the ending of they're up. Not, the, the last half about the of up. The last half of up is Dogs kind of flying just like planes. A, yeah, Shane, just I am like so glad you said series. that. Okay. And I'm not ready to fully come onto your team, but I think okay, I'm saying this. I'm bringing out the hot takes. I think up is one of the more overrated movies. Right. It has yeah. a perfect opening. Yeah. yeah, but the climax is a is it's a just mess. Like, uh, it's and, like and sure. I, I'll also acknowledge that the opening montage of up is a, a beautiful thing but i'd like to go one step further and say that i think the opening of cars is okay, better. okay. <laughs> <laughs> because holy shit it's okay I, it's I, it's, I, it's, a, it's incredible i will i will say all right now you're cra- you're talking crazy i know i am yeah, i don't yeah, care yeah, yeah. i know i know it's hilarious but like i do think that the opening of cars is so it's, underrated it's so it's good so fucking good there's no reason it's, for there to be direction behind a, fucking, a fucking chevron commercial i feel like the opening of this paid um, homage homage to a lot of like just racing movies in general there was a days of thunder yeah. <laughs> not to it oh like um like another one <laughs> i guess if i if I, i'll put a quick pin in the opening and then let's yeah, come right back I mean, to it i want to talk about my history with this real yeah. quick cars came out 2006 uh, what was it on the heels of uh, Toy Story 2? It, it was post Monst- Toy Story 2, post yeah. Monsters Incredibles, post Monsters yeah. Inc. I think Pixar is still on a tear at this point. Yeah. I really think, I, I think Up is the first Pixar movie where I was like, <laughs> I think they're kind of losing their fastball. That's you this is like, just going to drag and up I, I through apologize. the mud. <laughs> I, I know I'm not winning any favors here with the listening audience, and that's okay. I respect people's opinions. I know Up is beloved. That's fine. Yeah. But if you look at that run of Pixar... Yeah, so many people are like, Cars is a, a bad movie. Look, it's a, a mar on the Pixar reputation. No, it's not. It's part of their fucking streak. Yeah. <laughs> it's glorious. I will say that this is the first movie where I was just like, oh, you guys were trying to sell toys. For sure. Toys. You were oh, trying yeah. to sell toys. Well, they got to make a buck, you know? Yeah, and it's literally keeping them afloat at this point. Yeah. So show some fucking respect. Have some respect. You, you want your other Pixar films, you got to thank Cars. McQueen. Thank you got to th- thank, thank, get thank on Mc- your knees and thank Mater. Yeah, thank McQueen's and the Rusty's gang. I, I would say I don't share the full love that you have. And when I remembered Cars, I certainly shared... The popular opinion and when i dove back in last oh, night oh, yeah. yes, yes, i found yes, there was a lot to love There's a lot so to we're love. gonna dive into all of it real quick i'll give you a quick synopsy yeah uh if if you you know what it is lightning mcqueen is the hot shot rookie in the game he's got the title match for the piston cup yep. a three-way race and on the way to california <gasps> He gets lost on Route 66 and finds his way to Radiator Springs, where, through a bunch of wacky mishaps, he's held prisoner. Yeah, that's right. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. You got it. And he has to spend the time repairing the roads. But you know what? While he's there, he might learn a little something about himself. Right? Yeah. This is Cars. <laughs> that's it. That Beautiful. is Cars. Beautiful. And along the way, he may find out that life is a highway. Yeah. <laughs> the, okay, now let's talk about the opening. Yeah. It's exhilarating. Yes. It is. Yeah. It's uh you open with black and you hear Owen Wilson doing his thing. Yeah. <laughs> and he just he's talking and then you get yeah. and yeah. then back to black. Yes. And then car it's <laughs> like yeah. I am speed. I am speed. I'm I'm quicker than quick, blah blah blah. The opening this. race is freaking phenomenal. It's yeah. it's among one of the more exhilarating races ever put to the silver screen. It's yeah. the most exhilarating <laughs> that Cheryl Crow has ever been. Cheryl Crow is, is the backdrop to that. Yeah, the song called "Real Gone." Uh, <laughs> oh, I mean, I've. I, I mean, I'm not a crow. You're here to be deep cuts. We're not. We're not on the your music level. of this film. All the music due respect is great. to Mr. Giacchino and the Newmans. <laughs> yeah, I think that's the best <laughs> soundtrack in the Pixar repertoire. Damn! Wow. Are you, now? Are you a, a Rascal Flatts fan? <laughs> That one song. Yeah. Yeah. I don't know what else they do, but I was listening to that on the way here. I was driving up the five, one of the most exciting highways (laughs) you can drive on, (laughs) going 35 miles an hour. Uh, And I haven't listened to the soundtrack in a real long time. Uh, but I, yeah, that Rascal Flat song just reaches a crescendo where there's like, I don't know how many, it sounds like there's like 15 people in the band. Yeah. I don't know how many people there are. Probably 22. They're all doing different things by the end. One of them's going like, yeah, 
yeah, yeah. <laughs> one's saying gimme, 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 gimme. One's giving some ooze. It's it's good. It's just a it's maniacal. Uh, it's a really an incredible soundtrack. But the Cheryl Crow opening track, Real Gone. I'm American mate, but I love Chevrolet. My mama taught me right from the wrong. I yeah, was born I just, in the I, South. I, I, I truly just drowned that out because oh, I was just watching but, You know what? Listen to it. Yeah. <laughs> on your way home. Yeah, maybe. maybe. Put it on. <laughs> You're feeling it. Yeah, a little I bit. I got goosebumps. A little bit. <laughs> just singing it myself. <laughs> no, he actually does have goosebumps. I, I can goosebumps. see them on his song. I'm just so like... The joy that it gives you makes yeah. me so happy. Yeah. And I don't even want to talk. I just want to listen because well, it's yeah. a beautiful thing. I just but think... Go go ahead. I, I do think that the movie already, like from the beginning, it sets up such a simple story. It's like, okay, I mean, the announcers say who Lightning McQueen is and blah, blah, blah. He's a rookie. He's like, all right, he's hot-headed. He's going to learn a lesson. He's, he's going to become... Yeah, he's going to become... He's uh, the Michael Jordan of racing. He yeah. thinks that he's a one-man show. Yeah. And that's it. And that's all you need. That's all you need. Uh, everything else is just filled with like pitter patter. We already know the story. I don't give a shit about anything else. I just want to see this person or this being learn a lesson in car related ways. Yeah, he's a very nasty man when the film opens. They're yeah, interviewing is. him about about his like, you know, his success. And he's like, it's all me, baby. I don't remember what he says. He yeah. says, I don't um, need a team. And, and his, his, as his team is standing around him. Yeah, do, and like he, filling up his tires or like changing his tires or some shit like that. He's oh, kind of a doucher. Yeah. Let's I, talk about it. There are so many deep cut car references. Yeah, you're, you're a big car guy. Yeah, yeah. You always have been. And lately I've seen you out there on the gram. Yeah. You're in the driver's seat, baby. I'm in the driver's seat, What are you man? doing out there? He's I'm, vroom, I'm vroom, not vroom, 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 man. He's got his hand on the choice. You're being, being safe. safe. I'm being safe. I got Number a cage. One, I've safety. got a the harness, all yeah. that stuff. Okay, Helmet. good, good. Yeah. But as a car guy, yes. what are you seeing out there? Because so, my, you know, my car knowledge extends to the Bronco 2 that I owned in high school beautiful. that my parents passed down to me. Oh, my God. And uh -huh. now my current Subaru Forester. Yeah, hell yeah. But so I don't have, I'm not seeing any Subaru Foresters in this film. No. But you Maybe as a big car guy, what are you picking up in this thing? So there are so many like small racing things in general, like just off of, from the, from the opening. Yeah. The fact that there's rubber like slowly getting on their faces as the, as the race goes on. Yeah. I was like, oh, fuck, that's sick as hell because what, you know, what happens is as the tires degrade, as you're driving, um, the rubber from the face of the tire literally melts off Whoa. and it'll shoot off and stick to the next thing that's there. Most of the time, it's another car. Huh. So it just sticks on the face of it. So if you like look really closely as the race goes on throughout the, throughout the, the anytime they're racing or anytime they're, um that's cool on the track yeah just they do their I mean, homework there's they, a lot there's a lot of, of love those. and attention to detail in this movie and you can yeah. tell that like the, the people that made this film loved racing they love cars they love route 66 and yeah. americana and all that it, there's there's a lot of passion yeah and yeah. i don't even like i said i i don't think i've watched an entire like nascar race in my no. entire life sure haven't oh you shouldn't i think <laughs> i think <laughs> yeah, i think um something that always struck me as like i went on a lot of road trips as a kid oh, like yeah. my family we were big road trippers yeah so there is something very nostalgic to it and i think it does capture like there's like the romanticized version of a road trip but there's also like i don't know there's just like there's a shot when he first gets out on the highway where it's obviously it's like a beautiful pixar shot but it's kind of just like an unsexy shot of a highway uh, you know, before he gets, yeah. Uh, yeah. you know. But I also think that this is the first Pixar movie where they were just like, you know what? Let's just do beautiful shots. Yeah. There's a lot yeah. of very there's a lot beautiful of them. shots in this movie. There's a lot of fucking shots. Like there's, there's, um, I'm, I'm, I'm jumping ahead a little bit, but the, the first time Doc drifts on the dirt. Oh yeah. Woo! And it's just like that, that slow-mo with like the again. dust being picked Small up. Goosebumps. He's goosebumps again. <laughs> with this. For those at home, I want you to know that the climax of this film involves Lightning McQueen learning to Tokyo drift. Yeah. yeah. And it's fucking it's yeah. Yeah. It riveting. makes you emotional. <laughs> is all I'm saying. And and you see it through Doc's point of view. Yeah. You see him just staring at that boy yeah. drifting through the dust. And he's just like, I taught him that. I did that. 
It's yeah. so nice to be back to where I belong. Today we're brought to you by Thrive Cosmetics, which is super exciting because this is a company I love. Obviously, you want to take care of your skin, okay? They've got high-performance beauty and skincare products made with clean, skin-loving ingredients. Sure, we love it. But cause is in the name for a reason because every purchase supports organizations that help women thrive. My lips are always chapped. It's just like a thing about me. So their liquid bomb lip treatment has been a game changer. It's a leave-on lip serum treatment that nourishes and restores dull, dehydrated lips. I know mine are. Gives my looks that smooth, glossy look. If you're ever like, dang, Zach's looking kissable today, it's probably Thrive Cosmetics. For every product purchase, Thrive Cosmetics donates to help women thrive. This is women emerging from homelessness, surviving domestic abuse, fighting cancer, and more. It's really cool. I wish, frankly, more companies did stuff like this. But that was a great time to try Thrive Cosmetics for yourself. Right now, you can get 15% off your first order when you visit thrivecosmetics.com slash guilty. That's Thrive Cosmetics, C-A-U-S-E-M-E-T-I-C-S dot com slash guilty for 15% off your first order. Yeah. And it's... Uh, Anyway, we're, Are you, we're you're, ju- you're talking me into not just liking this movie, but loving it. It's, it's fantastic. It's also <laughs> like, you know, the story in a broad sense, I think is just, you know, it's a very simple story. There's something that works for those. Yeah. Uh, it's not like, it's not breaking any ground in terms of like narrative. No, it's, uh, it's pure execution. Yeah. Like you don't need much. You're already watching cars talk to each right, other. Yeah. So that's... You know, you're already the suspended disbelief is already there. I don't need a real story behind that. At that point, it's a hat on a hat. That's why, like, the second and third one are like, you know, we're not going to get into it. The but way, we will someday. We will someday. <laughs> the way we're sitting right now with Zach across from us and me and Garrick on the couch just <laughs> effusing our love for it, I feel like we're pitching cars to a yeah. car executive <laughs> we back in 2003. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> And it's going to change the world, man. Yeah. <laughs> I'll take us another place and say that not only is it beautiful, Mater is hilarious. Mater's hilarious. I, well, uh, I'll one-up you and say the entire movie is very funny. It's funny. Yeah. Every character is very funny. Yeah. All I, the jokes are all funny. Of, all of the romantic chemistry was so like is weirdly yeah. nice. You, you want know, those and, cars to kiss? Yeah. Oh, I want those cars to do a lot more than kiss. Yeah. yeah. Uh, I wrote down some moments that did really make me laugh. Uh, there's, there's one where they go, he won three piston cups and Mater spits at his drink and goes, he did what in the cup? (laughs) (laughs) I'm like, that's just good, simple comedy. I mean, there's, there's one when they come out of the, uh, the traffic court, hilarious pun. And then Mater is just, and and, and he gives his, he gives his, like what his sentence is going to be, blah, blah, blah. You have to fix the road. And then Mater comes up to Lightning McQueen. He's just like, Hey, uh, I just. I know this is a bad time, but you owe me thirty two thousand dollars. Every because he represented him. Yeah. Every mayor line is a singer. When yeah. okay, they they have him hooked up. Yeah. They have Lightning McQueen hooked up to this uh, tar machine. Yeah. yeah, and he takes his shackles off, or they're about to hook him up. Yeah, take his shackles off, and he goes. Phing! Yeah, zips away, and there's this long pause where Mater realizes he <laughs> fucked up, yeah. and Mater just goes, "Maybe I should have hooked him up to Bessie, and then yeah. taken the handcuffs off." And it's it, just it, like. Fuck, he's yeah. funny. Yeah. And, and he's I thought funny. That he was so annoying in no, my memory. No. no, he's hilarious. That's, he's, that's, that's wrong of you. That's a comedian. <laughs> that's com- Larry the Cable guy. Timing. Yeah. <laughs> you put some respect on it. Because I guess the whole like Larry the Cable guy, uh, Jeff Foxworthy right. branch of comedy, you might be a redneck if I'm just like, yeah. this is base it's just not shit. You. Lowest it's common not denominator. Are. Nobody yeah. needs it. But I was wrong. They're hilarious. They're great. But he's he's also doing uh, something different there. You know, it's not, right, I don't know. Right. It's not quite as, it's clearly not as pandering. He does get one of his, l- l- he gets he, a get her done in. He gets a yeah, get her done yeah, and he, he also g- gives, uh, and I'm pretty sure this is one of his catchphrases, uh, sort of a, uh, that's funny, I don't care who you are. Yeah. <laughs> you know? <laughs> Oh my god! God, it's uh, good. Like, are it's we are good. we just going through the cast of like everybody in? I mean, look, I mean, we're not even talking about the rest of it's we're a not stack. The cast is fucking stacked. Fucking Luigi and um, what's his name? Not Fuego. I Fettuccine. Said, uh, um, <laughs> Luigi and Guido. Oh, Guido. And Guido. Oh my! Fettuccine. Fucking god! They're like 
They kill me every time they're on. I know on Tony screen. Shalhoub plays Shalhoub. one of them. Yeah, yeah. the yeah. great Shalhoub. It's uh, so George Carlin's in there. Yeah, got the great Carlin. Paul Newman. Paul Newman. Paul Newman. That's got to be one of his last credits. Yeah. Right? I think it is yeah. his final role. Oh, that's, that's devastating beautiful. for him. But that's I mean, beautiful. no, in a way, no, it's not. I think that's the way that you go out because he. I mean, he's known for Cars and all that stuff. He so did like, love Cars. You got to know yeah. he probably loved this film. And yeah. I'm pretty sure they do. I'm pretty sure they do work his voice into Cars yeah, they use 3. re-recordings of yeah. it. Yeah, uh, it's beautiful because Cars 3 is a lovely tribute to him. You got Bonnie Hunt. You obviously yep. got John Goodman. Uh, Michael Keaton's there for a second. Keaton is Chick Hicks. Rotten yeah. Hell, yeah. Chick Hicks. <laughs> it is stacked. Yeah. 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 But it, let, in this first third of the film, though, everything up to him landing in Radiator Springs. Yeah. I mean, this is like a... The pacing of this whole film is beautiful, but that first whole run in particular is just like kinetic. Like it's yeah. just beautiful. There isn't a scene in the movie no. that I would take out. No, wow. there aren't any easy lifts or anything like that. Everything leads to the next scene. <laughs> Even those wonderful scenes with Richard Kind and his wife as like the oh, yeah, yeah. The, 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 the wayward lost. minivans. I'm not lost. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, we just forget and take for granted how good Pixar is and was at storytelling. And it's yeah. because they were able to make and remake and remake and remake their script so many times. And they they worked on it collaboratively. Yeah. I'm, I'm obsessed have, with like, anything Pixar. Yeah. And it's so like the way that they do it, I don't know why everyone in the industry hasn't just taken their model. Yeah. So we talked about this movie is funny. Yeah. It's also... Dirty. So dirty. Uh, you get in the first scene these two Lightning McQueen fangirls yeah. who flash their boobs. Yeah. It is. It it's is. Their a, head, it's their head, they flash their, their headlights, headlights, but it's flashing. And Lightning McQueen goes, ka chow. Yeah. Like he likes it. He's like looking at it. There's Lightning signs Mc with his number. Yeah. I'm it's, also going to say that this is maybe the horniest Pixar movie. Yeah. Well, it's, yeah, I mean, it's got Lasseter in it, so I mean, he directed it. Hey. I thought we were going to get through this episode without talking about it. Uh, it's got to be said. Yeah, it's got to be said. Uh, goddamn. But like, Lightning McQueen is purely motivated by one and a fuck. Yeah. Yeah. He, yeah. 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 He has these fantasy sequences of these two twins. No. For, so he has the twins. Yeah. Then he has these like golden cars kissing up on him in his Hollywood mansion. Sure. Yeah. Then he has when he first sees. Uh, uh, Bonnie Hunt's character, the 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 Porsche, mm -hmm. Sally, Sally. <laughs> thank you. <laughs> he also is like, hey baby, let me take you out to dinner. Then later he notices that she's got a little tramp stamp. There's mm -hmm. just so the much tramp stamp. It just it feels really of its era. <laughs> yes. <laughs> you know? yes, it does. Um, Even the term is just yeah. So, I feel like, weird saying it, and yeah. I don't know that I should. Lower yeah. back tattoo. Thank you. Yeah. The fact if you want to was... get a tattoo on your lower back, more power to you, especially if it's a little McQueen or something. Tribal. <laughs> <laughs> a little, a little kachow. It is tribal. It's yeah. a tribal it's a one tribal too. It's very one. thorny. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Uh, good for her, you know. There's also a side character in the town, and I want to talk about the supporting cast later, but one who her entire personality is that she's horny for Ramon. Oh, yeah. That's, oh. that's his wife. It, are you sure? Yes. Oh, well, she's, <laughs> well, she's letting everybody her. know. Yeah, then yeah. you know what? It's sanctioned. They've got yeah, a very healthy sanctioned. sexual right. automotive relationship. Just because you're married doesn't mean you need yeah. to uh, constantly be like, look how hot he is. Yeah, but, but yeah. the widow of the town's creator... Yeah, um, her whole job is to smack butts. <laughs> yeah, which is also hilarious. Yeah, and uh, I love that they worked a widow into this film. <laughs> I'm sorry, <laughs> he's such a fucking creep. That man loves three things: Hawaiian shirts, cars, and sexual harassment. Yeah, <laughs> bad man, bad man. Oh, uh, I, you know, it's maybe this was <laughs> this was his passion project. Yeah, I feel like, uh, yeah. and unfortunately. Unfortunately, I love it. <laughs> <laughs> um, there is... So, this town is probably the most ethnically diverse small town in America. Yeah. But also, it was populated purely with caricatures. <laughs> yes. <laughs> and it's... So, you've got the hippie and the army man. Yep. You've got the sassy black woman. Yep. Uh, you've got... The it's a diner owner, always a diner owner. Mm -hmm. Every black woman <laughs> on television or movies or film is a diner owner for no reason at all. And in that exact getup of like the light blue, yeah, uh, with like the with white, like the white collar, collar, and of. the white belt, and it's just like, all right, 
That's Flo, right? I don't know all the peripheral characters' names. I don't know her But name. I'm basing this on my time spent in Radiator Springs at <laughs> Disneyland. Yeah. Uh, Flo's V8 Cafe. Yes. Yeah. It's a great place to grab breakfast <laughs> oh. when you're hitting the parks. Okay. Watch the sun rise over Radiator Springs. I, I mean, this is a whole other section. I mean, clearly one of the best lands you know i'm not gonna go all bergara about this be like let's talk about disneyland <laughs> but uh it's a beautiful fucking place yeah. radiator springs it, it, one of my more favorite rides too Incredible it's just ride. delightful have you guys been there at sunset uh, i've been on the ride at is sunset it, is it what, what's what happens on? at sunset in radiator springs stays in radiator springs? no no well in a way it does because clearly you guys don't know about this at nighttime i don't know if it's at like the you know the forecasted exact moment of sunset at the day, or if it's just sometime at dusk, the entire, all the, all the speakers start playing life could be a dream, mm -hmm. which uh -huh. if you don't know that one on the soundtrack, it's the very, I think it's probably yeah. from like the forties or fifties. It's the, the life could be a dream. Yeah, it's when the neon yeah. comes on and all the neon starts to turn on uh, in radiator beautiful. Springs. Oh, that's and again. I have, beautiful. I have More goosebumps. goosebumps. Thinking about that it. was another like moment that it's was just beautiful. so beautifully shot. Another banger on that soundtrack. Oh my God. Um, it's, it's really, it's like, it's, you should consider it a bucket list thing. Yeah. <laughs> Like if, if you reach, like if, if you get to like age 97 and you're like, oh, I feel it coming. I, f I feel his, his bony fingers tapping me on the shoulder yeah. and you look at your list and you realize, uh oh, I haven't gone to Radiator Springs for sunset. Call an Uber, get your frail body into that thing <laughs> and get down to California Adventure or whatever the hell they call it. Go look, <laughs> go see those lights come on. Yeah. I'm and then, it. and then die. Oh, and then die there die at die there. Radiator Springs. They yeah. won't let you officially die there. They'll. I'm gonna guess they'll keep you alive until they dump you out the park. That's and then, right. Yeah, yeah. Sign your birth they'll certificate you. outside. Yeah. Um, do you guys remember the moment where Ramon shows Richard Kind and his wife his butthole? <laughs> <laughs> Oh, Wait. because he has like a tattoo. There. Oh, his little, yeah. Uh, yeah. He lives. Yeah. He but lives it, his car. He's like, we can do. Little, I can. We can do all these different paint jobs. Yeah. You want this one? And he sh he lifts <laughs> yeah. lifts his rear end yeah. and shows them the undercarriage. I assume. I mean, yeah, it's probably like a taint tattoo. Yeah, I don't maybe. Know. I <laughs> what what is going on? He has something yeah. on his his uh, differential, which is like the little thing that sends power to the rear wheels, but. It's it's like a orb looking thing, yeah. and I believe uh, those are testicles. Okay, <laughs> that is more. They a can testicular. get away with a lot because cars aren't people. No, but you just sort of have to do the work to imagine what 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 uh, it could be because it's anatomy yeah, they're right. working with. Yeah, because <laughs> there's another moment where Doc is working on the police chief. And he says one of my favorite lines. What does he say? Where he, he goes in. He's doing like Lightning surgery or yeah, something. Yeah, he's doing like a checkup. Lightning McQueen goes in. Um, he gets like an upshot of the police's uh, undercarriage. And the police officer <laughs> says, you get a good peek, city boy. <laughs> <laughs> so fucking funny to me <laughs> because he comes in he's like oh and then he's so delighted that he sees his butthole or testicles or whatever i'm glad that we are at this part of the podcast because i want to talk about the world i want to talk about the Beautiful. biology the biology it is cars. deeply yes. confusing there has to be like a reddit thing about the biology of cars yeah i mean one of my favorites is there is a uh Pixar, the, the Pixar unifying theory that basically makes every movie one shared yeah. universe. Do you know yeah. about this, Shane? I think so. And, and I think they posit that it's like the, the deep future or yes. something, right? That actually A Bug's Life takes place after Wally, -E, I believe, as the world is repopulating and the bugs turn into humanoid cars. I believe that is the theory. And that they had, that the cars are like, have these hard bug like exoskeletons. Well, there are the little beetle cars. There are beetle cars, yeah, there are but they've inhabited a world lives. left over by humans. So it's like the evolution, and they're they're taking over the leftover human infrastructure and evolving to fit it, yeah. which is that's yeah, hilarious, you know, wild, demented. I, you know, I'm all for people having fun with it, but I just like to take it at face value and imagine a <laughs> yeah. beautiful, beautiful world 
full of cars and no yeah. people. So there's one moment where uh, uh, they, okay, Lightning McQueen, Richard Kind and his wife. So there's these two cars that come to town and they're like, we're lost. I like the idea. Let's just call him Richard Kind. We don't need to. I, <laughs> yeah, I don't yeah. know if his character has a name, but Richard it's Kind Richard and his Kind wife. and his Kind. wife come into town yeah. and lightning scares them. Yeah. And she goes, yeah, where she lock locks her doors. her doors. Yeah. What does that mean? A lot to think about. Isn't what is it? What is going on there? Yeah. What's is it? Because I, I my mind goes to dark places. Sure. Oh. And is she protecting herself? But like, what does it mean to lock your door? What does it mean to open a car door in this yeah. world? Yeah. That's kind of one of the things that I love about the franchise as a whole is how much they have to bend over backwards yeah. to cater this world to a car only existence. A lot of people seem to get hung up on this. Like it seems to be like a lot of times I'm, I'm a little sure, hung. <laughs> I'm sure when you guys uh, uh, talk about this film, you've heard people they're out there. They're being like, yeah, but what's going on with that world? I'm like, the world is all cars. There yeah, are no people. Yeah, That's what's matter. going on with it. It Buy doesn't in. matter. It, you're um, asking too many questions. And just have a good time with it. It's because all car jokes in the, just, like, like in, it's all in the second, the, in the second movie is where they really start flirting with bigger vehicles. There might be some in well, the Well, this, yeah, no, this has helicopters, has, airplanes, yeah, the second one has a big, big boat in the beginning, and but there's cars on the boat. So then you start to think like, are the cars mo moving through that boat's bo body? Like, are they in the, his body? Well, there's a, a truck. There's a truck there's with a cars truck. in it. What's going yeah, on there? Yeah, yeah, I didn't even trailer. think about that. Well, is, is the trailer his pants? What is it? Mean, the trailer they, is they pants. Detached. So it's just like, it's not a okay. part of the And Mac if anyone truck. has issues with this, I'd invite you to do some quick Google searches because there's some really lovely... Um, fan art depicting like the biology of which is hilarious. There's there's a cross section showing yeah. like a sort of uh Cronenbergian <laughs> uh anatomy of the inside of a car, but there's also one that's a lot more involved showing the sexual reproduction of cars. <laughs> I would and, like, like to see that the gestation yeah. of how they give birth. Uh, and I haven't spent a lot of time <laughs> looking at it, but I've I've definitely looked at it more than once. You know. <laughs> <laughs> There is okay. We talked about the beautiful shot of America as we're yeah. like the, the road trip, and there's a shot of a of a field of of produce of of like I don't know if it's wheat or Where's corn. Who's eating that? Cars. Cars, Cars. are eating food. Yeah. yeah, which I don't I don't know in the first movie if they ever eat food. They're always they just yeah, refuel they like gasoline. Oil. Obviously, and, um, they they drink oil through their mouths. Yeah, because there's that part where he's like licking. He's like he's like trying to get some in his mouth. In the second one, though, Mater eats, some, he thinks it's guacamole, I think. Yeah. Shut but it's, up. It's wasabi. Um, that, that implies they're making the sushi. existence of sushi, yeah. which implies fish. the little carfish, which means that they can eat the car. Wow. Yeah, it's a lot to think about. It's and I a like lot. That. And the more that it flirts with these ideas, the more that my brain fully breaks. Um, yeah. I have something to read that I wrote. This is me. Yeah. Okay. This was, this was okay. Yeah. So this universe has an American flag yes. it in does. it. Okay? So there is a part where Sarge, dur, 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 yeah. dur, he raises the American flag, and then his neighbor is playing rock and roll. It's Jimi Hendrix, and he says, respect the classics, man. Yeah. So now, okay, in this three-second clip, we have an American flag, we have Jimi Hendrix, which means that we are in a full multiverse, right? Yep. So in that moment, this is our American flag. This is not a car's American flag. Yeah. That we live in a world in which there was a car's Revolutionary War. Yeah. There okay, we all we agree. Yes. Yeah, we agree. Okay. Yeah. yeah. There was also I don't see the problem here. A car's sixties drugs and sexual revolution. Yes, well, clearly absolutely. we have the the, the, know, the George Carlin yeah. character. Uh-huh. Uh-huh. Which also implies that in between that, there was a car's civil war, which yeah. means there was a car's confederacy, which means there was car slavery, which, oh my God, yeah, cars reenacted the entirety of human history. Yeah. Yeah. There's also, but that also implies <laughs> there's, there's cars LSD. He did too many drugs. Yeah. Uh, uh, she was uh, an attorney in LA, which means that there's a cars prison industrial complex. That's yeah, right. Probably. Yeah. You, you're not you're not sweet bothered by this at all. No, well, it's fun to think about. It's a good thought exercise. <laughs> yeah. yeah, it's fucking me up. It's yeah. fantastic. I think what? that the fact that you're thinking about it this much means that it is probably the most thought provoking Pixar movie to exist. I mean, certainly it's 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 leaving you with a lot to think about. Yeah. But at the same time, you know, when you think of something like Toy Story, 
all toys are alive. Everywhere they go, all the toys are alive. Mm-hmm. Uh, they're talking to antique toys in yep. Toy Story Four. Yep, uh, it means they've always they're talking been alive. to toys, toys, toys have that always people been alive. have been calling toys. So yeah. that means that man itself is a creator and can create life. Yeah. So it's like, don't think about it. It's Just okay. Watch you know? the movie. Don't think about it, or if think about or it, or have fun with oh, yeah. it. And think about it a lot. <laughs> I think yeah. that I'm prescribing to this. I'm, you know, I said that it was the, the future. I think that it has to be a multiverse. I think we're in an everything, everywhere, all at once situation. Yeah, because it, ha- it, it it makes more sense in a multiverse. Do you, did you guys stick around through the credits? Oh no. yeah, because because you have um uh the cars going to the movie theater, going to the yeah. drive-in. Yeah, and so you get to see toy car story. Mm-hmm. Oh toy, yeah, they do the t- yeah and Toy Monster Zig. Yeah. So in this universe, they also have car versions of toys. Yeah, yeah. so it's a multiverse. Yeah, it's, it's got to be a multiverse. They honestly should reboot all those films, but do the Cars version of them. You know, I'm yeah. sure car- Monsters Cars Inc. Monsters Cars Inc. Monster Larry. Trucks Inc. That would be smarter. Yeah, I love hearing John Ratzenberger's voice. Yeah, He's just a fucking every, every G. fucking time I hear it, I'm just like yes. I know I'm in a Pixar movie. I know that I'm home. (laughs) It just feels good. This also, this truly, I mean, you know, it it was like, and granted, Pixar went on to do a lot of great things. This is pre Wally. This is pre a lot of other stuff. But I mean, that was, it was pre Ratatouille. If you, uh, yes, this was this was the oh, year before Ratatouille because yeah. this was 2006. Oh, Ratatouille. But if you love Cars, I mean, uh, this is still like the Halcyon days for me. Like I saw, I think I saw it in theaters like three times, three or four times, because at that point Pixar was just like on fire, and uh-huh. I was like, I was just, I think I was primed to love it. I was like, yeah. I, it's a Pixar movie, of course it's going to be good. I can, didn't care about. Can I say yeah. also because of the public perception of this movie with Ratatouille coming out right after, I feel like Ratatouille was it, overlooked for yeah. a long, long time. Maybe yeah. still is. I yeah. feel like people are now starting to come back around to Ratatouille and Wally, which yeah. is oh, I, probably the best one that they've done. Yeah, yeah Wally, Wally was always my favorite. Yeah. But if I, if I said right now that Ratatouille could make a claim for the throne as the best, would you argue? I, beca- I mean... Because I like food now. I, think, <laughs> I like food. Like I, just, in the culture I think it's fucking of food. beautiful. I think, I think it's great. I think Ratatouille is my. I, we did a we did a top five episode of it on Watcher, and I think Ratatouille was my number one. Yeah, wow. it's so. I mean, it's such an impossible thing to rank Pixar. It's, it's like, really rough. And whenever yeah. I rank Pixar, then I remember that Toy Story exists. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Not like, yeah. Oh, and Toy Story oh, three. Exists. What do I do? Oh God, I I just I just don't even count them. They just yeah. don't even feel fair. There it's, was. I remember there was a um, a year. I think at the Oscars where um, Woody and Buzz presented the reward. <laughs> yeah. And I was in my little baby seat losing my fucking mind. Just like, oh, yeah, we got fucking Woody and Buzz. Look, they are real. And I would go and like look at my toys or whatever. You are a toy. <laughs> yeah. Uh, so good. Did you guys. OK, I asked about the credits. Did you stick around for the post credit? No, I must have because uh, I saw it in theaters three times and <laughs> I. I definitely did. Because when I say that, like, okay, I told you that the American flag broke my brain. Yeah. No, this broke my brain. And I need you to help me figure out what the fuck is going on. We've talked a lot about Richard Kind in this podcast, yeah. which yeah, is exciting yeah. for me. I was going to say, it's a Richard Kind thing at the end. So you still, have right? the family, the, the, the couple oh, that wouldn't yes. ask for directions. Yeah. They're still lost. Yeah. But then you have a little Volkswagen Beetle fly. In this yeah. universe, the bugs are also little cars. Uh-huh. And it goes... Bzzz, and it knocks into the glass of the camera yeah. that is filming the movie. And it looks at us, the audience, and notices that it's being watched yeah. and goes, huh? And it has a little smudge on the glass of the screen. And then it flies away. The camera yeah. that filmed this movie exists. Yeah. Yeah. As of it, what? No, that was that was a motif from the beginning. What? When they were trying to see who won the race, and um, the uh, I guess the safety people were overlooking, and when the referees the were footage. looking looking at the footage to see who actually won, and then the cops saw that the camera was looking and was just like, hey, 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 close. Oh, you're up. right. They push him out of the yeah. way. And there's a lot of scenes where it's just from a POV perspective and does like shaky cam shit. And it's just like, why is this in here? It doesn't make any sense. I think it that works. scene uh, is great. 
that scene is great for like a- acknowledging the fact that the camera exists in the world. But it's just, again, it's Pixar doing more than it needs to. <laughs> and th- it's fantastic. I think all that does make sense in in the race stuff because it's like, it's fans clamoring. You know, there's yeah. a lot of people around. Yeah. There's a lot of news coverage. So they're just giving you like the, yeah. right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. It feels but like that I too. I can't speak to the end. But to have a camera the, in the middle of the desert but I, yeah. is to say that this is a, f- we ha- sent a film crew into the cars universe yeah and these are actor cars within the universe i would love to see sort of the living in oblivion uh take of the behind the scenes making of cars where a car film crew like if somebody was i I, if there was like a documentarian following lightning mcqueen the whole time and and lightning mcqueen is an actor and that means that the guy like lightning mcqueen is played by douglas Fullbody, and he's just a car actor would love that yeah. and he has different roles because there's i okay so i wouldn't say he was an actor i would say he's an actual like race car driver or race car that was that I, had a documentary crew crew behind this him is because, not a documentary garrick because in in radiator springs there is another shot of of like of like a pov type of thing when the neon comes on and they're right riding down the uh the road for the first time and it's just like, like it's like on the back of one of the car of uh, Ramon. Interesting. And it just looks really cool. I'm sorry. I mean, I'm that sorry. sounds like a cool shot. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I, I think I've seen people float the theory that Cars Two is a in-universe Cars film <laughs> that is like it's putting, like the movie that he putting was... McQueen in a film since yeah. he's so famous. They're like. He's in a movie now. And I don't and know. Starring his friend Mater. I, I don't think they ever lend any credence to that in like Cars 3 and are like, remember that movie he was in? The good way to write it off though. It, it would be, be good because they do. Cars 3 does totally ignore Cars 2 as far as I remember. I'm sorry to only ask questions, but again, there yeah, are a go lot ahead. Of There's a lot of that, questions about this film. <laughs> there was another moment where they go to this hotel that had, you know, the cozy the, coat. The, yeah, no, 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 the oh. one that had shut down. Oh, and they have this beautiful oh, view. Wheel. And she makes, I, as far as I recall, this is the only time these words are uttered in the film, where she goes, "This used to be the most popular stop on the Mother Road." Mother Road. That sounds very Avatar. What? The flying fuck. Yeah. Is the mother road because they refer to Route 66. That's a that's a yeah, dumb that, thing. Yeah. That sounds religious. I don't know what that is. The mother road, and it's the only line that I can recall. Well, I never, and I rewinded, I yeah. and I said, "What the hell does that mean?" That the is there like lore about this? Yeah, that, I'm that, looking up that what it a gives mother birth. Road. That the the road gives life. That life life is a highway. I mean, it's life. I mean oh, oh life. Route 66 is nicknamed it's called the, mother the Mother Road. road. Oh, boo. Oh. <laughs> yeah. boo. I, I, I would love if there was some sort of in-universe religion. Religious cult. Yeah. How do you think Jesus died in the Cars universe? He was probably. Oh. He was probably. You can't really crucify a car. Oh my God! Did they what put nails he? through his tire and it deflated? Of course, of course. What do you mean? What are we talking about? <laughs> of course, they went through his tires. Yeah, They're I guess hands. so. Like, um, like spike strips. <laughs> yeah, I think he was like <laughs> on. I'm apologies Jewish. to our, our yeah, apologies <laughs> to someone, but not me. Yeah, he's probably on like a, a a flatbed or something like that, or like whatever <laughs> they use to to jack the cars up. So hey, speaking of the mother, because I did watch the beginning of this. I didn't watch the whole movie for this, but <laughs> neat little detail at the beginning. If I'm sorry, just really quick. Yeah, if no, Ram- go. If you're, Ramon you had, a, had a paint job of like, instead of a cross, it was whatever they crucified. Car it was like Jesus an axle. Saw. It's like an they axle just, <laughs> or something like that. His oh, wheels. Yeah, just like a flatbed or something or or uh, a jack or something like that. That would be that would be so funny. So funny. Anyway, I'm sorry, Shane. No, I think that was good to address. <laughs> yeah. Um, uh, my detail isn't as exciting, but I did get excited noticing that uh, at the beginning when he is on the highway, the first time they show it, you can see the mother road right next to it. Yeah. Not traveled. Mm. Everyone's on the highway. They're yeah. not using the mother road. Yeah. Have you guys ever driven on Route 66? I'm not oh. sure. I've played it on Overwatch. <laughs> That's about it. It's good. It's it's. Beautiful. I've I've done the drive from Chicago to LA like three different times. Yeah. And I kind of always take a different Did you stop in Radiator Springs? In, up here I did. I actually <laughs> did stop at some crazy like uh somewhere like in Utah, some rest stop somewhere that had like a knockoff cars like statue up that was like a weird Lightning McQueen, but not quite. Uh but it was clearly trying to be Lightning McQueen, but skirting any copyright. Yeah. 
What uh, would it take for you to get a Lightning McQueen tattoo? Like just a Kachow or a Kachiga. If I were going to get a tattoo, sure, I'd 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 consider it. Little, I, I little like to, ankle McQueen. I I've I've never truly considered. Uh, tattoos, because I think I think at some point one of the Kardashians said, "Why would you put a, bem- a bumper sticker on a Bentley?" Um, wow, I, that's my sort of ethos when it comes Bentley. to that. I wonder what I would put with a McQueen. Just kachow all the way down your forearm. Maybe a kachow. Yeah. A kachow would be nice. You know, actually, that's a gripe I have with this film. I think of this. This should be littered with kachows, top to bottom. And in fact. I think that the Thunder guy, his what was the the knockoff Kachow? Kachiga. Chick Hicks is his name. Chick Hicks. Yeah, Michael says, Keaton. There are far he more says, Kachigas than there are Kachows. Yeah, yeah. That's fair. he says something like, he says he says like Kachiga, and Kachiga, then Kachiga, and then he's Kachiga. like, here comes the thunder, <laughs> and then McQueen says something like, well, you know what comes after the thunder? Or no, oh no, wait, no, what, he uh, says, you know, what comes before thunder, the lightning, kachow, kachow, <laughs> yeah. and then the scene kind of keeps going, but you hear Chick Hicks like. He's like yelling at his team. He's like, nobody told me about the thunder thing. <laughs> he's like really pissed off at his people. Because he's stupid. He's stupid. He doesn't know about he's lightning stupid. and thunder. I, do, I would love a Chick Hicks spinoff, though. Yeah. yeah. I, uh, yeah. Like I said, they don't they don't give him to Keaton in the other films. And I'm going to guess Keaton was like, all right, I'm good. Yeah. Because he <laughs> I got to really, go do Black Swan. <laughs> yeah. Oh, it is. Black Swan. Uh, uh, Birdman. Bird Birdman. Birdman. Same, it is funny when bird, McQueen, different. when he has the dream about the big... Um, of what is that? A uh, what is the farm oh, the machine? Co- a combine? Tractor something, but yeah, the big tractor. Yeah. yeah, he has a dream about it chasing him on the racetrack. If you watch in the back in the background, Chick Hicks just gets obliterated by that <laughs> yeah. thing. Really? He gets murdered. Wow. He gets Dreams he gets weird, sucked man. into its claws and he explodes. <laughs> wow. Yeah, it's beautiful because I hate Chick Hicks. <laughs> <laughs> so it's nice to watch him die. <laughs> I don't know that. I think some other cars die in cars too because it's a spy movie. But uh, that's the most blatant death that I remember in cars. Mm-hmm. Chick Hicks is nasty. He's a nasty yeah. piece of he, shit. He, <laughs> yeah, I'll say it. He, <laughs> the ending of this movie is beautiful. Yeah. Oh my god. Can you talk? Can you speak about it? Uh, it's just. I mean, I think all movies should end with a race. <laughs> yeah. Uh, it, it's his. His whole squad is there. They all get like their moment in the sun, his pit crew, like, you know, they they do it old school and everyone like the announcers. Are the announcers like it's NASCAR uh, they are. guys? They're no, ESPN guys. They're right? ESPN guys. Yeah. It's um they're real Al guys. Michaels, so maybe okay. one of them. It's football yeah. announcers. There's a there's a couple of like real people in there. The Ferrari at the end is Michael Schumacher, which is very cool. Oh, is Bob Costas in it too? Bob Cutlass. Bob Costas, Bob that's Bob Costas. Bob Cutlass. Cutlass? Is his car name. Oh, like nice. Cutlass Sierra, Hilarious. I think. Shane was watching sports one day. He's like, what's Bob Cutlass what's doing Bob on Cutlass the doing there? Why is I so red? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Mater taught him how to drive backwards. Yeah. Yeah. But really, the moment that got me is lightning gives it all up. He does yeah. to help a friend. Yeah. Because it, he, he reminds him of his hero. He learns to be selfless. Yeah. It's yeah, beautiful. The, the 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 old timer, the hero, he crashes, and Lightning McQueen's gonna win. He's gonna win by a mile. Yeah, and he halts to a stop. Yeah, right before the finish line, and he lets that dirty bastard, piece of shit motherfucker, Chit Hicks, Chick Hicks, Chick, Chick Hicks, Hicks, yeah, win. Yeah, because it's more important to go back for the old timer, and he says, "Figure, what was he? What does it say? Figure the king has to finish his last race." Oh! Come on. And he pushes him. Or should finish or. his last. I've, I've just been pointing at my arm periodically because yeah, I'm getting jaded. It's <laughs> crazy. It, they're crazy goosebumps. It's also oh, just, They're like look, very raised. Well, there you go. Real, wow. real ones. Um, Dude, it's all over you. Yeah. It's real. It's that. It's like, I mean, there's like nothing. It's also just like, I'm not even giving credit to the writers of the film because nothing that happens in it is like, whoa, I didn't see that coming. <laughs> no. Like him stopping the race to help help like the old the old timer it's like yeah sure screenwriting 101 yeah. have them yeah. do a nice thing and sacrifice yep. the glory yeah there's nothing novel about it but it's but it just works it works so well i'm fine with movies just doing like what movies did from yeah. 1920 to 1970 yeah you know <laughs> um I, one thing that i always 
also look for in scripts or anything like that is fucking runners and Guido constantly asking if he can do a pit stop. <laughs> yeah. And then he, I think his only line is pit stop. Pit stop. Yeah. That's yeah. the only thing he knows in English. Yeah. Everything else is in Italian. Yeah. And then he finally gets to do one. And he's incredible. And he's incredible. Yeah. At it. And I'm just like, yes, that's a fucking payoff. And yeah, that's all it's I. It's like a re- the announcers are like, that is a record. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> and then he does a little. He does a little. Uh, does he do a little pistol twirl? Yeah, he does. A yeah. And you have the so other pit stop, stop crew. Their jaw drops, which Literally is their drop falling falling fall off. Yeah. And then they love that bit so much that they do it twice. They yeah. cut back, and then the last remaining jaw falls. Yeah. yeah. I fucking love this movie. It's great. It's really good. It's, I really was curious to. I'm, Kelsey actually got me at some point at BuzzFeed a uh, cars. Uh, she got me a remote control Lightning McQueen at some point. Wow. And uh, and I think a little McQueen that I I brought him just so we could see him here. Oh, yeah. good sort of job. So and that's and, him with the white tires. Yeah, that's that, like a, yeah. Tires. There was a there was a line of of little uh, Hot Wheels versions where they're like classic cars. I don't even know what this is, but it's McQueen. You can tell. <laughs> Love to see him. He looks beautiful. Yeah, he's got that shiny paint. Yeah. Okay. You know, speaking of Kelsey, uh, so she hasn't seen this movie. Yeah. Which is crazy. Really? And she was really sad that she couldn't be here today. So I just asked, I haven't listened to this. I said, okay. Kelsey, what do you think this movie's about? Garrick, did you listen to this? I did not. Okay. I'm very excited I don't know if it's funny. This. If it sucks, we'll just cut it out. <laughs> I think Cars is about a. Red, I know he's red. Okay. And I think he's got he's got a big dick compared to everyone else. <laughs> or no, he's got a little dick, and he's got to prove that he has a big dick. Oh. So I think Red Car is on a hero's journey to get a big dick engine. Vroom vroom, go speeds fast fast, <laughs> and he's got to beat all the bad cars. And the bad cars are going to be like. I'm going to assume there's probably some racism in there and they're going to make all the bad cars like Asian manufactured cars. And then I'm going to say that they're going to be like, all America, pickup truck, Corvettes, (laughs) win things. That's my, that's what I think cars is. The end. I think this also, just to this and after that, I think this probably also opened up a weird sexual fetish for a lot of people about wanting to stick their dick in cars. Because I feel like, I didn't realize that this wasn't about the people driving the cars. This was about cars being people. <laughs> and you don't get that without some, you know, specific yeah. sexual fetishes. I also want to know oh. if Garrick <laughs> thinks that the cars are like accurately representing the type of personality that typically drives it. Thank you very much. Interesting. Wow. So Kelsey okay. thinks that the cars are fuckable. I also, I take umbrage. I think that Lightning McQueen, uh, is big dick energy. Yeah, he's yeah. a fuck machine. Yeah. Look at him. He, he like the way that he approaches the Porsche in the first place is just like, yeah, this happens all the time. If I, had I mean, an ounce just, of that confidence. Yeah, oh it's sort God. of like a burned out rock star at the beginning. Like he's living, well, he's living in the fast lane. Yeah, he is. Uh, <laughs> and he's got to slow down. I'm shocked that they didn't have the song Laugh in the Fast Lane. They should have. Yeah. Man, that soundtrack's so good. I, I really invite you guys to. Play it on your way home, but also many times after that. It's really good. Um, she wanted to know if the cars are really accurately accurately. portrayed the personalities of the cars that they are. Yes. Yes, absolutely. I think like there there's a scene with all like the neon uh, neon cars and like the big wing thing. There was also really nice detail uh, with like the fat, the Fast and Furious cars that that wake up Mac. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Nasty. Um, they're, they're pieces of shit. Uh, as they should be, because the type of people that mod their cars up to that level usually are absolute assholes. But there was a nice moment where they're all in sync. The th- there's four cars. Uh, three of them are like modded out like street cars or whatever. And then one of them is a hot rod. And they're all in sync as they're changing lanes. And the fourth one is having the hot rod is having a hard time keeping up with them because hot rods can't turn that well. Oh. And I thought that that was such a nice little detail. That's good. There's I I wrote I oh, I, I want to hear what other like I interesting wrote them all details down. you caught. I wrote I them all down. That. Lightning McQueen doesn't wear his slick tires when he's uh, driving around regularly because you sh- definitely shouldn't. shouldn't wear slicks on what the are, road. What are slicks? The, without treads. Oh. So those are race pure racing tires. Mm-hmm. Racing tires only, don't have treads on They have no treads. 
How does that work? It's just more rubber on the road, man. You don't oh. need more, you don't need that gap anymore. You don't need treads are for wicking water away from the center of the tire. No kidding. And so you're not driving on, or if you are on uh it, on a wet circuit, they add treads to the tire. Blah okay. blah blah. Um, that one was really good. Uh, the the Euro versus NASCAR shit is like very hilarious, intense. And you're just like, you're not a Ferrari. Shut up. You're like, <laughs> relax. Um, uh, c- keep talking. I'm gonna, no, I'm gonna I will wait as long as I need. We will cut, edit out <laughs> silence. Hey, while, while you're looking, I'd, I'd like to, I, I don't feel like, you know, to Kelsey's question, I don't know that people find the car sexually attractive. Speak for yourself. I mean, <laughs> <laughs> you know, follow your bliss. I just, I, you know, there's definitely movies where people do like, you know, I feel like a lot of cartoons where people were like that cartoon was one sexy, you know, like oh, the the Space Jam lady. People loved her. Yeah. And Lola then, of Bunny. course, Jessica Rabbit. Uh, yeah. Jessica Rabbit. Sure. I mean, I just Googled cars, Pixar porn and rule 32, man. It, it There's. Oh, this is vile. Yeah. Yeah. That's you want to see. I don't think so. Oh, this well, is, I'll take a peek. This is a yellow car. I'll I don't know if this is in the movie, and it has what appears to be a car. It's a car hole, and it's using a traffic cone. Just sec. It's using a traffic cone to insert, you know, kind of as you would a... Hey, honestly, that's not even that, because it does just sort of look like a, a, a hole on a car. It is the sort of um, fluid leaking out of it. That is the most vulgar thing about yeah, that. Yeah, most of these are just cars mounting other cars. Right. But yeah. you're not really you can't really sex them up that much. No, I mean, yeah. honestly, this is all pretty safe for work. Yeah, that's Chick Hicks. I Wait, yeah. is that McQueen and Hicks? That's yeah, McQueen that's fucking McQueen Chick Hicks. Hicks. Well, he does in the movie, but in a, in a, in a more metaphorical <laughs> okay, way. Okay, finally, here we have a, a car dick. Okay. And it's not my favorite thing to look at. All right, well. You want me to pinch zoom? Yeah, that's yeah, just that makes sort sense. of that's just sort of someone tacking human yeah. anatomy onto it's, a car. This right. is the it's second just... time in a couple of weeks that Zach has actively looked up porn on his phone <laughs> during a recording <laughs> of one of our shows. The, the, but um, it was all it's the second time it's been cartoon porn. Yeah. That's well, you, it was Kirby before. The first time made me think of it for the second time. Kirby? Mm. The the little Yeah. Pink. Yeah, we were talking about like if Kirby could suck Kirby a knob, what that would be like. Sure. Or, yeah. Yeah. Yep. This one is just kind of pouring like gasoline all over itself, which you know what's going Seems on. Dangerous. Yeah, on <laughs> Seems dangerous. Seems um, dangerous. Back to the car things. The slick stuff, blah, blah, blah. And then there's also in racing in general uh, where they're always going for pit stops under a yellow flag, which is a very typical thing to, to happen with crews and all that stuff because you want to, um, because there's a pace car out and they're holding the rest of traffic behind, right? So the rest of the race is behind you. So if you could beat the pace car out, you have a chance to race all the way around before the pace car gets to the finish line um, and catch up with them. So you almost get like a free lap if you yeah. do that, like, or a free, yeah. free lap and a free uh, pit stop. Interesting. Yeah. This movie is also a, a fascinating case for determinism. The yeah. idea that you are born into a role in life and you... Yeah, you should fulfill it because if you are born a race car, yeah, you're, you're a race car. You got to be a race yeah. car. If you're born a fire truck, you're a fire truck. If you're yeah. born a plane, you're a plane. And I would I would love to see the film about a little race car who wants to be a dancer. Yeah. Uh, a, a truck who wants that, to fly. That could have been that would have solidified cars as the greatest Pixar movie of all time. <laughs> If, if Lightning McQueen did not want to be a race car and wanted to be something else, that would have made for a very interesting movie. But I also would have wanted to see this one. <laughs> yeah. Or perhaps another car that wanted to be a race car. Oh, yeah. That's good. That would have been nice. I feel like Cars 3 might touch on some of that, but I don't. To- I only, I've only seen that one once and I think it's really good. Yeah. The, the, uh, the, like the, if you're a police car. Yeah, you're going to be a police officer. That's, off. That's just doing. it. Yeah. Nothing you can do about that. Yeah. In fact, Doc is the only one who kind of breaks. He was a he was a race car, and he said, "I'm retired now. I'm yeah. a doctor." Yeah. Well, Toe Mater becomes a spy he, in the second one. Good point. Mm-hmm. The second one is very Mater heavy, which is honestly <laughs> kind of good. Because yeah. they wanted to sell, like that. we said, tow truck. He's good in the first one. He he's always well. funny. Oh, I also wanted to know the the rusty cars. Yeah, that's kind of classic, right? 
Yeah. Well, it's concerning because he doesn't like. Yeah, he doesn't like um, rust old cars, rusty cars. Blah blah blah. Yeah. I, I was gonna say unhoused <laughs> uh, cars. Well, at first it seemed like a hemorrhoid cream commercial where it's like, if you're rusty, rub this on and you'll be fine. But then like the way that he looked at them, they're like, they're hicks. Yeah. yeah. And the way they mo- like, it's a, yeah, it's, 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 I never thought about the angle of like body modification. You know, there, oh. we, we talked about the Cronenbergian elements of it before, yeah. but that's a whole other thing. The way they can just swap out parts of themselves for so we're we're getting into some weird stuff with it there's I like a, getting weird that's yeah. why i but love that's the movie where, like with i mean with cars i'm guessing that organ transplants would be a lot easier to do yeah because yeah it's just a bolt or something like that, a couple bolts and you like, put it on my biggest takeaway from this film is that i love it at face value you know i love this story about this wonderful car and his friends that he makes and I also love that it poses all these, if you're a person who wants to dig in and, and figure out what the implications of it are, great. When people are like, but what is all this then? I don't, what is, what is that? I'm like, do you not like to think? That's the fun yeah. to be had. It's fun yeah. to think about stuff. What about, I, I posit this, I bet you that the black market in this world sure. is crazy. Yeah. They're probably, it's gotta be kidnapping people, stealing of their body course. parts. Yeah. Because like, even, even now looking for car parts, it's just, facebook groups or craigslist and all that stuff it's yeah. probably yeah all of that but now that imagine is, if you were to get a car part you yeah. had to tear someone else's body right. apart or take it from a dead body oh Fuck. <laughs> yeah <laughs> yeah i mean you don't think about the the rust because again in cars three doc is dead he has died oh he's dead Oh, doc. very grim. That so it was happens. one of the grimmest Pixar trailers that I've ever seen. It's it, it's stunning. Yeah, yeah. It's, it's really the nice. Cars through trailer. If you've yeah. never seen it, it's it goes so it's fucking good. hard. Yeah, for no reason at all. None. It's just great though. <laughs> Did you guys see that one in theaters? It was good. In the trailer. Yeah. Theaters. No, I've never I mean, seen the movie. Oh, I haven't seen you haven't it. seen no, the movie. I've never I've seen. seen it. I've only seen Cars. Yeah. Once. Oh my this god! The second time I've dipped into Cars, the Cars verse. Well, yeah. look, if people like this episode and you guys do want to talk more cars, I'm happy to cover the trilogy with you. <laughs> the last point that I, I we won't don't have to dive into is that there's a little bit of like pre maga maga pining for yeah. like what America used to be with, yeah. with yeah. radiator springs. And if that turns people off, I'm like, I get it. But yeah. I think it's innocuous enough that it feels more like, hey, wasn't it? Yeah. Wasn't aren't, it nice? Aren't these to, cute little towns cute? I think that's you know, I, that's I'm, what I, I accept it. That's what I look at it yeah. as. Because I've also been, as I'm driving through these like weird towns and all of that stuff, I'm like, this is very nice. This yeah. seems like a nice scenic place to like lay your head and all that stuff. But everybody there is racist. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. And that sucks. <laughs> but it's just like, it's, it's still pretty to look at, you yeah. know? And it seems like they got as close as they could to racism <laughs> that, that without could, racism. Without racism. They were like, yeah. all the people in this town are a certain kind of way. Yeah. <laughs> or the cars in this town. Uh, but they weren't like, no other cars here. They, no, were, they like, were very inviting. For the love of God, can there be more cars here? They said, they we were, want more cars. And also, we have one representative from every race. <laughs> <laughs> yes. they, were, they were racist against race cars, essentially. Oh, yeah, they, they were, were racist. There it is. They were racist. I got some fun facts. Okay. Uh, let's see. Okay. One more that will break your mind. So uh, Bessie, who is the Rove Pavement Machine, they gave her they give a name to this road pavement machine. Every time the road road pavement machine Bessie spits out the car, you know, spits out tar, yeah. does it twice in the film, she makes laughing sounds. Really? Indicating that she, Bessie, may possess some livid, some limited intelligence despite not having visible eyes. Which the that's ramifications a, of that. That's the thinker. That's freaky. What? No. I, re- I don't believe that. I, I, I'm going to go home and watch this clip laughs. now just because I want to hear her laugh. This is according to IMDb Facts. I have not vetted. Okay. I never will. IMDb Facts are usually pretty on the level. I believe them. I've been saying it in every episode. <laughs> and, it's, <laughs> and it's not a mater laugh. It's not a sneaky little mater laugh. Sort of a hee hee hee. But like, what is that? Is that like a, like a fucking like end of One Floor of the Cuckoo's Nest where they scramble Bessie's brains and then have her maybe those are a slave and maybe they're like the trees of car like trees are alive but they don't laugh <laughs> no no they don't 
Yeah, it's a lot to think, Even about. to think about. What a joy. What yeah. a joy. Uh, so early drafts were, of course, different. Um, you know, the original idea for this film was to be about an electric car living in a gas guzzling world. Mm-hmm. Mm, too much. Don't Pixar like it. doesn't. No, I like it. I like it. And hopefully maybe we can go there in the future. <laughs> I can't remember if Cars 3 might actually cover some of that. Yeah, um, an electric car I think comes it does. in and like is quicker than him. Yeah, but there's I can't remember what the the mm. takeaway is there. But uh, <laughs> the takeaway is that fossil fuels are pretty cool. No, <laughs> I, I think they I think it ends up. God, I got to revisit that, uh, and I hope we do. Um, but uh, that's a little too heady for Cars One. Yeah. Yeah, we just want to see Vroom just Vroom bank Pichow. on Route 66 and nostalgia. <laughs> there was also an early draft that had Doc Hudson having a heart attack and no. having to be jump started by Sarge. That's a little messed up. Yeah, <laughs> it's a little dark. Yeah, that's 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 a uh, a lot <laughs> a heart attack. for uh, just a car joke essentially. <laughs> yeah, it's like too much a for traumatic a car joke. for a Hong Kong. <laughs> yeah. Uh, I can see them executing it in a way that isn't immediately apparent as a heart attack. Like, you know, like him kind of like sputtering out and then like (laughs) jumping him. He's an old car. And then like, as you're driving home, you're like, oh shit, that was kind of like a heart attack. (laughs) Yeah. You know? Yeah. But But as a plot point, it's a lot. It's like, how do you even depict that? It's so dark. But I mean, they kind of have that with the... (laughs) Uh, the cop car uh i keep on forgetting his name um uh backfiring when he's chasing right. him and he thinks that he's getting shot at which also implies that there are car guns. guns in this world car guns whoa you're right <laughs> well there's yeah. guns which, in cars too fuck and also implies that cops are pieces of shit in this universe too. <laughs> yeah we'll yeah. just shoot at people who yeah. they're trying uh-huh. to uh, probably the most realistic part of this movie yeah. yeah honestly we also didn't talk about how the topography in this film is also cars the mountains the mountains yeah. are like our cars big engine blocks is yeah. that what you would call them yeah okay yeah it's just uh, blocks. and the t- the the clouds uh, tire, tracks. tire tracks shut the fuck up yeah yeah Oh, my brain is melting. It's yeah, they're beautiful. So detailed. It's like if you look around, there there's a car joke everywhere, and it's fantastic. Also, yeah. a quick little nod at the beginning uh, when it's showing the highway and life as a highway is playing. Obviously, mm-hmm. uh, they track past the uh, phone wires, and they're well. Actually, I guess they're actual birds. They show the birds from the Pixar short where all the birds are on the wire. Oh, mm-hmm. uh, yeah. yeah. They'd always work their little short nods into the early Pixar. I don't know if they still do that, but... Real birds in the Pixar Yeah, so world. I guess there's real birds in the car world. Well, that's because birds come from dinosaurs. Sure. And I guess there were dinosaurs in this world? The dinosaurs wouldn't have been dino cars because we didn't evolve from dinosaurs. Right. No. They would just be dinosaurs. They would be dinosaurs. The cars have tongues, though. Cars have... People. Big tongues. Big, big tongues. Big tongues. Um, so Paul Newman, the great. Yeah. I think this may, it was either his last role or in the final three. He, it's his highest grossing film, of course. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> of course. But. What he, an insult. Yeah. Well, a great career, but he considers his performance as Doc to be the best that he had done since the verdict in 1982. Because. Paul Newman loves this performance wow. because you can't take it away from the king you know you can't like disagree with his logic he's been in most movies yeah so you know that the man knows quality so if paul newman says that cars is his best work fucking listen to him he's right What's, who are you who are you to say that who are you to deny the great paul newman and he loved, I mean, he lo- he was a big racer, right? Yeah. He's a big racer. So this probably, I mean, he Phenomenal loved actor. Yeah. yeah. Hottie McHodderson and makes a mean pink lemonade. Yeah. Uh-huh. There Newman's it is. Own. Have you guys. Did you know that you- um, uh, a Paul Newman da- Daytona is the highest sold watch of all time? I really? Believe. Yeah. The resale of it. I yeah. want it. How much is it? I, I don't remember. The most like, expensive, you mean? The most expensive, yeah. Oh. Wow. Um, somebody resold it for... Wait, so did he own it? I, he, he, I believe he owned wow. it. Wow. I... Dreamy guy. ...need you all, dear listeners. Google Paul Newman Young. Ugh. And tell me that that is the not the most gorgeous man you have ever laid eyes on. Yeah, it's incredible. Well, now's the time we must decide, is this film a pleasure, a guilty pleasure, or just plain guilty? This is your chance to tell people... 
why they should or should not watch this film. I think it's a pleasure. It's a great movie. It's a great story. If you can put aside your reservations about what the world means and just accept that, look, this is a movie for babies that happens to be really good. It's really fun. The soundtrack whips ass. (laughs) Uh, It's great. It's a good movie. It's a pleasure. It's an absolute pleasure. It is a pleasure from the details alone. Yeah. From someone that is is watching from a car perspective or like looking for different car things and references, I found t- t- too many. <laughs> if you just go through and just like make a list, you'd be like, oh, this is great. This is fantastic. None of this really had to be in there, but it was. Um, so that level of care in a movie is is what makes it a pleasure for me. It's not my favorite Pixar film. It's not in my top five. It's probably it may not even be in my top ten. But gosh darn folks, it's a P. Yeah, it's a P. It's, it's just delightful. Yeah, it's, it's a P. It, it's a P. It's a P. It's a. And you know what? I I really just have one thing to say, and that is, ciao. Exactly right. <laughs> we Beautiful. didn't do nearly enough Owen Wilson impressions. Wow. Yeah. Wow. Wow. Yeah. Wow. 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 Good child. Good child. Wow. Also, like, way to go, Owen Wilson. Get that, get that purse. Yeah. Yeah. Man. Get paid, this buddy. This is probably his high, highest grossing as well. <laughs> there was a while where he wasn't Not in the movies. Royal Tenenbaums. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. There right. was a while where he wasn't in movies for a bit, and I was like, I hope he's okay. And then I was like, he's in all three Cars movies. <laughs> <laughs> he's fine. He's fine. <laughs> he's, he was just in Loki also. <laughs> I know. Yeah. Well, when he came back for Loki, I was like, good to see Wilson. I, I hope he's been all right. Oh, he's been chilling on that he's fucking car. He's got money. that McQueen cash. Yeah. Also, he's a phenomenal writer. He co oh. he co wrote a lot of the Wes Anderson movies. Oh yeah, I guess he yeah he yeah. is on those yeah. Oh yeah. fuck. Well, this is, oh Shane, fucking what are you working on, man? Anything you want to promote? I mean, is Puppet History coming back? Puppet History uh, is tough to bring back because the host is dead. Right. Um. But we are. Uh, are you scared? Is going on on Watcher right now? A fun show where we read spooky stories, and we're currently shooting Ghost Files which is our ghost hunting show that is premiering this fall. Very exciting. Uh, We went to Alcatraz recently, which is crazy. I can't believe they let us go there. Wow. Um, We're going all over the place. So uh, if you haven't been over to youtube.com slash watcher, that's where it's all happening. I assume if you're listening, you're subscribed, but yeah, you guys, you never the know. quality of content. It's, it's some damn good it's stuff. It's fantastic. We're having fun. You got a little professor, uh, pop socket on your phone yes i do oh you got him oh yeah. the little guy may he rest may he in peace. rest in peace yeah, yeah I, I miss him love yeah. him to death yeah so you're not gonna get like a replacement host or we're auditioning people right yeah. now but we'll you know i guess it's i it's rude of me to even ask it's, it's too hard soon to, i mean it's it's uh, like hard to find little blue sort of creatures yeah, yeah. shane where can the people find you uh shane Maday on uh twitter on instagram that's it, I think. I'm on TikTok, too, somewhere. I don't really post on there, but I am the king of TikTok, so you'll find me. <laughs> I'm at Gordon in all things. I'm Garrick Bernard on all the things. Until next time, life <laughs> is a highway. <laughs> yeah. I want to ride it all night long. Gimme, 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 gimme.